Shafak News, the Iraq Future Foundation for Economic Affairs indicated on Friday a decline in the benefits of banks realized from the differences in the selling price of the dollar between the window of the Central Bank of Iraq and the market price during the first seven months of 2022. The head of the foundation, Manar al Obaidi, said in a report published today that the sales of the central bank window during the same period amounted to $28.4 billion, indicating that the differences between the window price and the market price amounted to $536 million, or 1.88%. According to the report, the sales of the Central Bank of Iraq in 2016 and during the first seven months amounted to $17.9 billion, noting that the differences achieved for the banks participating in the currency sale auction amounted to $1.1 billion, or 6.24%. The report also noted that the central bank's sales during the first seven months of 2013 amounted to $29.3 billion. And the difference achieved for the banks participating in the currency sale and purchase auction reached 1.78, at a rate of 6%. Newshound guru Sandy Ingram breaking news in Iraq. Article. Iraqi. PM calls meeting of senior politicians to end crisis, it appears Iraqi leaders are working on a political roadmap without al Sadr. This is all over the global news. The existing Prime Minister, Kazemi called a meeting, intending to find a solution to the current political crisis but here's the kicker, al Sadr was not in the meeting. Intel guru Mark Z, via PDK, I heard, that. If Iraq goes, then Vietnam would follow quickly, within hours to revalue theirs. They are major trading partners. Newshound, Intel guru MNT GOAT, Central Bank of Iraq reserves return to levels before ISIS war. Oh, but the dinar is still just one-sixth of a penny. Maybe someday you can brag about the rate of your currency reflecting its true value. Very sad what they are doing to the Iraqi people in delaying all this wealth that can derived from their currency if they only released it to the world. The fears that prompted the Iraqi government to hold a dialogue session for the political blocs in Baghdad, were not able to calm the Iraqi street. On the contrary, they rose in intensity. Fearing the conflict between the Sadrist movement and the coordination framework would break out without clear possibilities to impose a settlement, given the pressures faced by Prime Minister Mustafa al Kazemi From the troubled street in both sides of the crisis. Pictures broadcast by the Iraqi government for the dialogue session showed al Kazemi exhausted and exhausted as he spoke. With the leaders of the political blocs during the session that the Sadrist movement was absent. While knowledgeable sources told Ashark al Azat that the dialogue session did not achieve a political breakthrough to end the crisis, intersecting sources reveal that al Kazemi received a promise from al Sadr's environment to participate in the dialogue session through his representatives, and the meeting was supposed to discuss the roadmap for forming the interim government and holding the elections, but it turned out that al Sadr changed his opinion at the last minute. The atmosphere, which was ripe for a truce formula, turned into a state of suspicion on the part of the government and a desire for escalation from multiple parties in the coordination framework, while Sadr's Kurdish and Sunni allies were placed in a confused position. This month, al Kazemi made repeated calls to shift the course of the crisis from the street to dialogue, to avoid dangerous scenarios, but it is clear that powerful forces in the coordinating framework do not trust any political role that al Kazemi plays. The concerns that the political forces are now dealing with are related to new indications about the intention of the coordination framework to move the crisis to another level of escalation, with the aim of, not conceding to Sadr's conditions, except with a comprehensive agreement, security and political, 
Sources The fears that prompted the Iraqi government to hold a dialogue session for the political blocs in Baghdad, were not able to calm the Iraqi street. On the contrary, they rose in intensity. Fearing the conflict between the Sadrist movement and the coordination framework would break out. Without clear possibilities to impose a settlement, given the pressures faced by Prime Minister Mustafa al Kazemi from the troubled street in both sides of the crisis. Pictures broadcast by the Iraqi government for the dialogue session showed al Kazemi exhausted and exhausted as he spoke with the leaders of the political blocs during the session that the Sadrist movement was absent. While knowledgeable sources told Ashark al-Azat that the dialogue session did not achieve a political breakthrough to end the crisis, intersecting sources reveal that al-Kazemi received a promise from al-Sadr's environment to participate in the dialogue session through his representatives, and the meeting was supposed to discuss the roadmap for forming the interim government and holding the elections, but it turned out that al-Sadr changed his opinion at the last minute. The atmosphere, which was ripe for a truce formula, turned into a state of suspicion on the part of the government and a desire for escalation from multiple parties in the coordination framework, while Sadr's Kurdish and Sunni allies were placed in a confused position. This month, al Kazemi made repeated calls to shift the course of the crisis from the street to dialogue, to avoid dangerous scenarios, but it is clear that powerful forces in the coordinating framework do not trust any political role that al Kazemi plays. The concerns that the Political forces are now dealing Shafak News, the Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, received in Jeddah the head of the Wisdom Movement, Amar al-Hakim, who arrived at dawn on Thursday. And the Saudi press agency stated, at dawn on Friday, that, during the reception, they reviewed Saudi-Iraqi relations, and a number of issues of common interest. The agency added, the reception was attended by Prince Khalid bin Salman bin Abdulaziz, Deputy Minister of Defense, Minister of State, Cabinet Member, National Security Advisor Dr. Musaid bin Mohammed al Ibn, and Saudi Ambassador to Iraq Abdulaziz al Shamri. On the Iraqi side, the Vice President of the al Hikma movement, Mr. Mohsen al Hakim, attended. For his part, al-Hakim wrote through his Twitter account, in the meeting, we emphasized the close historical relations between the two brotherly peoples and ways to strengthen and document them. He added, we also referred to the importance of stability on both sides of the Gulf, and we praised the Iraqi role in mediating between Saudi Arabia and Iran, and its positive repercussions on the peoples of the region. He continued, we also stressed the importance of coming out with satisfactory decisions for the Arab masses from the upcoming summit in Algeria, and emphasizing the centrality of the Palestinian cause and the importance of it remaining a symbol of the unification of the Arab peoples. The leader in the coordination framework, Aid al-Halali, confirmed to Shafak News Agency, that the visit of the leader of the Al Hikma movement, Amar al Hakim to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, is related to the current Iraqi political crisis, and perhaps during this visit, Saudi mediation will be requested to resolve the dispute between the framework and al Sadr, especially that Saudi Arabia it has a good relationship with the Sadrist movement and can play a role in resolving differences and bringing views closer. For his part, Salah Muhammad al-Iraqi, the so-called Minister of the Leader, who is close to the leader of the Sadrist movement Muqtada al-Sadr, harshly criticized al-Hakim's visit to Saudi Arabia. Al-Iraqi pointed out that, it is remarkable that one of them went to, the sisterly kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a few hours after the end of the dialogue session, and if we were the perpetrators, they would have said, the dialogue session was under pressure from outside in. 
notice from the normalizers and the Americans and the like. And Eid al-Halali told Shafak News Agency that Saudi Arabia today is different from Saudi Arabia in the past, and therefore it is possible to have a positive role in resolving the political crisis in Iraq, and to be a guarantor for the implementation of any political agreement between the leader of the Sadrist movement Muqtada al-Sadr and the forces of the coordination framework, and the next few days, will reveal the results of al-Hakim's visit to Saudi Arabia, through the developments of the Iraqi scene.